okay, take all of what you just said and then pair that with John Kerry is going to be Joe Biden's climate jar czar. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> take okay. Even Joe thinks it's funny. Whatever, whatever he's laughing at, I don't know. Probably you, but um, take all of that you just said. It, 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 I'm not making this up. He's going to be the um. Let's see here, John. I like the, I like the comment, Czar. I like that. That's good. Uh, John Kerry, Biden picks John Kerry as climate czar. John so, Kerry. So, like, so on a serious note, I mean, I think it's going to be what, what I think was going to be more interesting than anything. This administration is, you know, I, I think the Republicans uh, and mostly, you know, the Trump administration uh, and yeah, mostly most of the GOP made no bones about over the last four years. You know, you either get in line or you're going to meet the wrath, good or bad. I mean, you know, whether or not, you know, the Republican you know, got their way or not, you're going to meet the wrath. You, you know, you're going to get raked over the coals and just sort of set up this dynamic of it's you or, you know, it's you or the enemy and just this very divisiveness. And I think that, unfortunately, well, hold, fall hold, hold, hold on, hold what? on. Do hold you on. disagree with that? Well, if unless you're about to just blast the, the liberals for... You know, know, using the steel dossier and all that. Okay, can I? Can I? Thank you. And so, so in in response to that, you, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm luck. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll be the first day. Um, in 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 response to that, you saw the left digging their heels. They wouldn't negotiate. They they asked for ridiculous things. They they put the goalposts way too far. And the reason I'm saying it that way is because now I you know I think we've walked into more of the more more pointedly than any time that, that I can remember or, or that I've learned about in history, we're going to be walking into what I think is just be a tit for tat. You know, so the Trump moved the goalposts way over here in the, in the left's eyes. Now, you know, Biden's elected. Now the left is going to do what they can to move the goalposts back from here to here. And then, you know, let's say the Biden is a one-term president. Then, you know, let's say the Republican gets elected next time. It's just, it's just going to be a, a seesaw of, of back and forth of, you know, who's in, who's in the driver's seat and what, what gets lost in that back and forth is the people and the populace and the country moving forward as one. And, and I, you know, right now, you know, with what the left has been talking about and how they govern and what they want to do and what the right wants to do and how they govern and how they go about it, there really is no seemingly sort of middle path to move forward because they seem to be just going after such different aims but you call me crazy. I, I I would like to see a scenario where or a a a time where you can talk about issues and it's not okay if you disagree with me, you're automatically like the enemy and stupid and you know all, all of the all of the and not you, but I mean, you know, well no, but I mean the, the political arena these days is if you don't agree with me, I'm, I get to call you names. It's it's like I mean it's like watching people on a playground. I'm though. You call I'm me a politician, but I'm not a politician. I can call you names anytime I want. That's different. And and also, it's not calling you names if they're well deserved, like just <laughs> labels. It's very different. An earned an earned moniker is different than than you like belittling me. 